place. If he was telling you the truth. Ryan Derbyshire. Had him on file for years. <laughs> Drunk and disorderly, that kind of thing. He was always slagging off that Louise outside her ass. That's the front door once. He was sobbing all the way to the station. I'm not calling it in. I promise me, Sergeant. Don't start fucking wussing out of me now, man. You wanted me here. You got me here. Yeah. But just give me five fucking minutes. Alright. I'm coming with you. <laughs> fucking fine. You don't actually think he cares about you. You two have no idea how he feels about me. He's a scumbag. You need to stop seeing him now. Or this time next year, you'll be lying in a gutter somewhere with a needle sticking out of your arm. Oh my God, you're so dramatic. <sighs> your mother and I have been talking. And we've decided that if you insist on disobeying us consistently like this, and we'll have no choice but to have you not live here anymore. Are you serious? This is a joke. Ergo, they eat more in our country than they do their own. They bring in strange roots, which is merely the undoing of poor apprentices. For what's a sorry parson to a good art? For other ruffians, as their fancies wrought. Hey! With self same hand, self reason, and self right. Good shark on you. Oh, God, now! Peace and prosperity that our ancestors died for is on the brink of annihilation. All we can do is remain strong in these divisive times. Now that's a real chippy. Good quality British food. Go! Seemed like the right thing to do, to be honest. The honourable thing. Do you still think that? Of course. There's no doubting the honour of it all. I just wish wish you'd known how bloody awful it was going to be, sir. <laughs> I suppose so. I met many young men who thought they were coming out here to become heroes. Heroes, maybe. But there's nothing heroic about death like this. 